Hey, welcome back to the Tease for October 29th, 2017. This Sunday, we are going to be talking about do, 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 Matthew 22. And in Matthew 22, Jesus is being cornered by the Pharisees and was just actually uh, uncornered by the Sadducees because they gave up because they're trying to get him. They're trying to stump him. So the Pharisees are like, ah, we got one to get Jesus. And they ask him about what are the greatest laws. Out of all the laws, there's tons of laws. Which is the greatest? Which is an awesome question. You know, but their intentions are not pure. Their, their intentions are actually they're trying to catch him in something. They're not really looking for an answer. But Jesus, he says, okay, you know, I feel a tight wire, but I'll bite. And so he takes it and he gives him an answer. And he's like, well, you want to know the two greatest laws? There are. There actually are two. And uh, is to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul. And then the second commandment, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. And he says, unto all these will the rest of the, the uh, law of the prophets hang. So he's not, what they're looking for is him to say, hey, the other laws don't work anymore. Uh, they do, but their roots come from these two laws, to love your Lord and to love your neighbor. If you are not loving your Lord with your heart, mind, and soul, and you're not loving your neighbor as yourself, then your roots are going to die. All the other laws are just whatever. You're just doing law, right? If you are not starting there, if you're not basing your own faith, uh, your own religion, your own walk, if it's not grounded and nurtured with seeds of love, the seeds of love that were given to you by a loving God who created you, then all else will just be blah. Who knows what could come of it? That's what Jesus is saying. Our roots, who we are, or we're made by a creator whose hands are just loving hands. So if we are not reflecting that and living that and pursuing that in our lives, then we're kind of putting a bunch of maple syrup in our gas tank and expecting to go. So if you're feeling stumped in life right now, you're feeling things are just grinding away, you're feeling a lot of maybe despair, um, frustration, uh, dis maybe depression or whatever, where, where, and let me ask how the love is in your life because that is where we thrive. That is what brings us the most amount of peace. Uh, you know, during all the Irma stuff, I'll say, uh, I'll say that I saw over and over and over again the people who found so much peace in the midst of all this anxiety, and I'll, I'll speak about for myself as well, was when I got out of my head and focused on myself and went and served others. That's where I found joy. That's where I found a lot of happiness. That's where I found laughter. But I found peace, right? I was like, oh, God, it's, it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. And then also loving our Lord when I'd fall down on my knees and just pray to God. And I'd be like, oh, gosh, God, you're the one who's in control. I'm good. I'm good, right? Um, so love. That's what we'll be talking about this Sunday of how we live it, practice it, and how it is the gasoline that makes us go. And without it, we can just deflate, right? So God bless you. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you on Sunday.